My name is Kevin Link. I'm an applications engineer for Go Engineer, and today I'd like to show you how to use a pathmate to represent a CAM slot relationship in your assemblies. New to SOLIDWORKS 2014 is the ability to add slot mates to your assemblies. Here you can take components and mate them either to linear slots or arc slots that exist already inside your assemblies. Now there were a few limitations to this new enhancement, including the fact that you couldn't have any linear and arc conditions in the same slot or any open ends on any of your slots. We can actually go back to an older technique using a pathmate to represent these more advanced slots. The first thing I'm going to do to put this pin in its place is use a smart mate to add a coincident relationship between the edge and the top face of this arm. Then I want to make a slot mate between this portion of the pin and this straight section for the linear slot. Choose the mate, go to mechanical mates for the slot, and use the free end constraint. That'll allow the pin to move up and down within the slot of the arm. Now for this cam slot in the green plate, I'm going to need to create a path for it to follow. First thing I'm going to do here is create a sketch and show a sketch that created this cut for the cam slot. I'm going to select that chain and convert those entities into my sketch. And I noticed that the sketch is a little bit long, so I'm going to need to use some center lines and the trim tool to trim my path down so that I have a nice end-to-end -end condition for my pin to follow. I'm just going to trim up the other end here using the same technique. All right, once those are trimmed away, the next thing I want to do is edit my pin and create another sketch with a point that will follow the newly created path sketch. So I'm going to put a sketch on that same plane. Again, remember I'm editing this part. So this sketch will move as that pin moves around. After I place the point, I can check that it's on the plane where I created it. I'll exit the sketch exit editing the part and then I just need to add my path mate. Go back to the mate command, go to advanced mates, path mate, and choose the sketch point and then use my selection manager to select the entire length of the chain. That way I have my whole sketch in there for the path mate. Hit OK and then we just need to test out the motion. I hope you find this technique useful when trying to represent cam slots in your assemblies. Again, this is Kevin Link from Go Engineer. Have a great day.